lovely world. So today's vlog is all about, you know, New Year's resolutions that I made back in January on the very first day of January. Maybe it was the last day of, of 2019. I can't exactly remember. I don't know every single thing that I had on my New Year's resolutions, but there are still three things on that New Year's resolutions, which I get to read from my phone. Now, in all fairness, you know, these three things, these three these, I can't even speak. These three things that are on this list, I probably will not finish by the time, you know, midnight rolls around tomorrow night. Which brings in 2021. Which I said yet in yesterday's vlog that they will carry over until, or carry over into 2021. Now, on this list, you know, I'm going to, in the description, I'm going to leave every single thing on the, that I have on my phone right here right now and and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna do the countdowns and all that stuff so the first thing I have here from when I made this last year was read more books I've read a total of seven books in 2020 which is not saying a whole lot but if you know me sometimes you know other things get in the way of reading like watching TV shows and watching movies and, you know, watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. And that's perfectly fine. I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to read as many books as I possibly can in 2021. But for 2020, I had set a goal of maybe 10 books and I haven't even got close to that. And I probably won't even get close to that. I'm in the middle of reading one book right now. I'm on page 116. I'm not I'm not 100% sure on how many pages are in that book. It's The Girl in the Spider's Web by uh, David Langer, Lagerkrantz. It's a continuation of the Elizabeth Salant. I've, I've talked about that before. And the Michael Blomkist and all that. It takes place in Sweden. And it's kind of like a crime novel type of thing. And then, you know, there's two other books in that series that I've yet to read. And then there's Pet Cemetery, which is by Stephen King. And then there's the, um, I'm, sp I'm still waiting on one, the Megan Ranks book, You're Not Special, a sort of memoir. And then I have the, the fourth compendium of, of The Walking Dead I haven't even started yet. So, there's six books in total that i I am have or I'm supposed to be getting soon, hopefully. I'm still wondering where that Megan Rink's book is. Maybe it'll be here in 2021. I'm not 100% sure. And there's, you know, there's six books that I have in my, in my, in my, uh, in my Amazon account that I, I would like to get in 2020. One. And maybe a few others. The second thing I have on here is do v, Vita. I vlog every day for the second year in a row. And I've done that. Today is day 365. Tomorrow's day 366. So that's a whole year. And I, met, I talked a little bit about that in yesterday's vlog. And the last thing I have on here. Get through as many TV shows on Netflix as I can. I started on April 4th. Because for the first three months I was doing so many other things. And I really didn't have time to get through Netflix shows. But... I, I will say that I got through six shows on Netflix in the span from April until today, April 4th until December. And I know that's not a whole lot of shows on Netflix, but yeah, that was, that was the thing. Now I have new uh, platform, new streaming services that I've been watching shows on, like I'm watching Euphoria on HBO Max and eventually I'll get to, you know, Flight Attendant and... And and uh, the second season of Mandalorian, and the third and uh, three seasons of of Westworld, but that's for tomorrow's vlog. I just wanted to read off you know the New Year's resolutions I had set back in last year that I that I've done so far. Now there may like I said there may have been other you know resolutions that I had on this list that. I completely forgot about or I completed and I took them off the list and I should have kept them on the list. I think that's what I'm going to do for 2021. 
is everything that's on the list, all eight things that I'm going to talk about in tomorrow's vlog, I'm going to leave on the list if, how, if I finish all of the shows. Now, I, did ha I do have a show that I'm currently watching that I'm almost... I'm halfway through season, episode 6 of season 1 of Euphoria, which is it's a good show so far, from what I've watched. And it, it, it is a little dark. I wouldn't recommend it if you're not an adult adult, like, like someone who's in their 30s or even in their 40s. That's the only time I would recommend watching something like that, because it is very dark. It's, you know, it's got violence, it's got sex stuff, it's got nudity, and it's got all that stuff. I wouldn't recommend teenagers or kids watching this show because it's it's very, you know, bad all the way around. Now, I'm going to try my best to finish that tonight because I just got six, seven, eight, so three episodes left. Oh, well, two and a half if you really think about it because I'm halfway through episode six. And that's all I've got for, you know, New Year's resolutions that I, that I made back in... The, at the end of 20, 2019 that, you know, led all the way up till now. And when when this goes, I'm going to probably erase this, uh, the 2020 New Year's resolutions today, even though I still have one more day of Vita I left to do, which is tomorrow. But yeah, so that's, that's the whole plan on that, that situation. And, you know... I want to wish two individuals a happy birthday and anyone else who has a birthday on this 30th day of December, a happy birthday to you. And those two individuals are Katie Watts and Kristen Crook. Crook? I think that's how you pronounce their last name. It's K-R-U-E-K. -E I think that's how you pronounce her last, or spell her last name and pronounce it. So, now, there's only one more birthdays that I have left to wish, and that's tomorrow's birthdays, and those are YouTubers' birthdays, and then we start a whole new calendar year, and we start over fresh with new birthdays starting January 3rd, so the first two days of, of December, or I mean January, we don't really have birthdays to wish, but I will wish anyone who has a birthday, a happy birthday in 2021 as well, so... With that being said, I will see you with a New Year's resolutions uh, for 2021 tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. All eight, I will, you know, I love doing V-Dye, which I'm going to continue doing for the rest of my time on YouTube. And watching Netflix shows, I'm going to continue to do that. And reading books, I'm going to continue to do that. I may not, you know, finish another book in the next two days, but I'm going to see, do my best to get as close as I can to finishing reading the eighth book, you know. And then I will go into a little bit of detail of why I chose the eight resolutions that I made for next year in tomorrow's vlog. So look forward to that. I will see you on the final day of 2020. You all know the drill. Keep real and ciao. And maybe, yeah, bye-bye.